So today we're going to discuss about SIEM, Security Intelligence and Advanced Monitoring Platform. So from a fundamental level, what exactly is an SIEM? An SIEM is an ability or a platform, whether it's software, hardware, virtual appliances, that's installed into an enterprise network and it allows you to have visibility into the network to see exactly what's happening from the endpoints, from your servers, from your databases, your critical applications, your switches, router, firewalls, network intrusion prevention systems, and the list goes on. And if you think from a future perspective, we can see Internet of Things as being one of the items that we can monitor to track for any kind of malicious behaviors in the environment. And most importantly, SIEM have to be able to orchestrate the complexity of the enterprise network to defend itself against many cyber attacks in the environment. So basically, what the SIEM does is that when you look through an enterprise network, you see many different kind of IT assets. And you can have uh, hundreds and thousands of databases, servers, applications, and the likes. So what happens is that an SIEM collect all the information from many of these IT assets. And from there, it correlates many of this heavy lifting work to enable you to see exactly where the traffic are going, what are the applications doing, and to monitor many of these critical systems and infrastructure in your environment. Not only that, an SIEM have to be able to correlate all these events so that you have an immediate picture of what's happening in the enterprise network. So one example that you can see in this diagram from an SIEM platform is that it's able, from a use case perspective, to detect what an attacker is trying to hit into the server. So when you first look at it, you may have a web application server that could be running on Apache, could be running on different kind of web systems. And of course, it's connected to the databases where it houses all your critical personal data or your financial information or enterprise information. And what the hacker is trying to do, it could be a SQL injection, could be a cross-site scripting. And what happened is that all this log information is being thrown into the SIEM platform. And the SIEM does the heavy lifting of correlating many of these potential attacks and from there, it's able to detect, report all the status of the systems and the applications and highlight to the system administrator or the security analyst what kind of attacks are happening in the environment. Moving forward, of course, we have to ask, is detection enough? Are we able to do more? Can we have advanced capabilities on the SIEM? And of course, the answer is yes. How can we perform orchestration against cyber attacks? Because nowadays, it's not about when an attack will happen. It is how can we react when an attack occurs in your environment? And two, are we able to block certain attacks coming in into the environment while it's on transit rather than remediating after attack happens? So again, the question is, can we use SIEM to orchestrate into your network peripheral devices so that we can stop many of these cyber attacks or cyber crimes in the environment? And finally, can we have advanced analytics capability where there could be state-funded hackers, advanced persistent threats in your environment? How are we able to stop many of these attacks coming in while we use very advanced algorithms to detect many of these potential cyber crimes? Final use case that we see here is that it could be an attack on an endpoint. It could be a phishing attack where the user clicks on some malicious email. And what happened is that in the email link, you actually see some kind of uh, item being executed in the environment and from there we are able to configure on the network level or to configure from the endpoint level onto the antivirus from the kernel level to stop certain attacks from penetrating into the system. So there you have it. Today we discussed about what SIEM is from a defense perspective. How can we stop advanced threats in the environment using SIEM? And from there, how can we orchestrate the entire enterprise network against potential cyber crimes in the environment? And SIEM is an advanced platform to help us orchestrate defenses or defense mechanisms across many verticals of IT assets so that we're able to contain, eradicate, and recover from many of these cyber crimes. So with that, if you enjoyed what you just watched, feel free to leave a comment below. 
And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll try my best to answer to them.